Hello everyone, VJZ Fruity here back with another review. This is the Darth Knight from Fury 11. Incidentally, as I record this, they're releasing a Spider Man deck, which I will have up alongside this one. This one, of course, is obviously DC Dark Knight. I think it's the first DC thing deck they've done. Hopefully, there will be more like Superman at some point in time. The front of the box has beautiful uh, foils and embossing. It says Fury 11 playing cards. And you see a Batman symbol on there. And it looks like his chest piece, basically. 311 DC Comics. DC Comics, 311. Uh, the Dark Knight, I guess, on top under the seal. And copy on the bottom. And in the back is the back design, which has some more artwork. I must admit, I've not really watched a lot of the... Dark Knight Trilogy, I've seen a little bit of Batman Begins a long time ago. Never really sat down and watched any of it since, but I probably should. And, um, nice custom seal. Bat logo on the flap. And then here it says, Why oh, so serious? <laughs> that Joker thing with Batman symbols, and then the inside is the repeating ha ha ha. <laughs> the Jokers, uh, the Joker, obviously, duh, it says my so serious. The 11, and then this one is Joker holding a Batman Joker card, which is not in the stack. In fact, those are the only extra cards you get, which makes me believe this was not printed by USB-C. They didn't, well, actually, it, the information says it was printed by USB-C, but for some reason, it's only a 54-card deck, not 56, like usual. So that's interesting. Um, so the Ace's Blade says a Silent Guardian, a Watchful Protector, the Dark Knight. And in the back, just like the tuck case, it's a Batman face and some other symbols. And some weapons. <laughs> now, I will say there's apparently some Easter eggs in this deck. So that's good for all of you Batman super fans. I'm not amongst those. I'm not a huge Batman fan. I think he's alright. I think he's cool. But, you know, my favorites would be Superman, Spider Man, Power Rangers. <laughs> Anyways, um, nice custom pips throughout the number cards. Uh, and you got different figures on the court cards. I'm not able to identify all of them because, like I said, I haven't watched the trilogy. But uh, obviously, that's Catwoman. Of course, there's Batman. There's one of his vehicles, a motorcycle. And yes, there's a customization to these pips. It's hard to see, but there it is. I'm guessing that's Alfred. Not so who. That's supposed to be. I'm guessing I have some characters and that could be Rachel Dawes. Could be, maybe. I'm not sure who that would be. That's obviously Bane. That's, I'm guessing it's Talia Al Ghul. That, maybe that's Alfred. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> And then there's a little back line around this pip. You can see what the clubs look like. And then there's that. That's... Uh, that's supposed to be... I'm not sure who that is. Uh, could be Scarecrow. Don't think it's Two-Face. <laughs> and then there's her. And maybe that's Alfred. He looks pretty old. <laughs> and then the, I guess, the Batmobile. Pretty nice for what it is. Well, if it was Superman, I'd probably be able to tell you all the characters. <laughs> or Spider-Man, for that matter. Um, which, we'll see when the Spider-Man deck comes.
is corresponded by USB-C on their FSC certified stock. That's full-based ink, starts laminates. Features all those characters. There's a Commissioner Gordon, I believe. Well, I don't know about Commissioner Gordon and Lucius Fox. I just wrote down a bunch of characters I found. <laughs> the Harvey Dent two slash two faces there. Scarecrow, of course, the Joker. And uh, yeah, sculpted embossed tuck case. Very nice quality. Nice cards. Especially if you're a fan of the Batman. You might really like this one. I think it's pretty nice for what it is. I will give it. I'll give it an A plus, even though I'm not hugely familiar with the source material. It it's a nice deck. So that is that. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. For thanks for watching.